Hi, I'm Thomas Spooner. I'm from the north of England. I'm on BA Fashion Knitwear. In the beginning, I was very much interested in the technical aspect of it and how it requires a lot more understanding. I think sometimes people don't realize that within knit, you are literally making your fabric. It's not just a case of you go and buy, buy it from elsewhere and then it's just thrown together in a pattern. There's a lot more to it. There's a lot of maths. And for me, I just like stuff that's kind of like much more hands-on and technically minded. Hiya, I'm Zoe, I'm on fashion design and marketing. I chose to do FDM because I feel like it's very free in terms of what you want to do. They don't limit you. It's creating your own world, your own space and just going, going mad a bit. And it's, it's fun. <laughs> Out of all courses, you're learning more about your brand identity and how to promote yourself in the world, which is actually probably the most transferable skills you will learn in fashion school. I'm working in the LVMH project right now, um, so we're given sustainable offcuts from LVMH and then we have to make a collection with them. Yeah, we are making this huge lattice dress at the moment. We just dyed the dead stock fabric of LVMH. I'm Oleg, I'm studying fashion design with print. Print subject, you can develop a lot uh, in terms of like working with textiles, like dyeing, screen printing, also embroidery and digital embroidery. And uh, I find that is quite interesting because you can do quite simple garments and materials can really push the garment forward in a way. So this is a team project and we're working with Disney and right now I'm making a structure for our dress and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so I'm making a bodysuit for the Frozen project and it's inspired by Nordic knitwear. That's my work and um, this one and it's to the women messy, I'm trying to make it better or something. Before I came to CSM, what I really liked about it is that you can be yourself and have your own aesthetic and like no one's here going to force you to be someone else it's just sort of very limitless if you want to do something like 3d laser cutting or metal work with your fashion like there's so many workshops here I thought it was going to be really really scary or something like I felt a little bit like shy and uncomfortable having come from Bangladesh and but actually I'm quite comfortable and there's a lot of international students as well here, so you get to meet a lot of people from different places. I'm from um, like middle part of Turkey and she's from Istanbul. And the tutors are fabulous. They're really, really good. Like, I think they make CSM what it is CSM, to be honest. <laughs> I came here when I was younger uh, with my mum visiting and the atmosphere that the whole school has is just like so good. Like, I don't think you can get that anywhere else. My favorite project last year was the white show, which is where you're only allowed two fabrics they give you and it's all white and everything has to be white and everyone comes up, basics about shape and expression through shape. I'm Stanley and I'm on the menswear pathway at CSM. What makes menswear different is we learn more about the traditional forms of tailoring and pattern cutting but subverting it and breaking the traditions in like more new creative ways. My favourite thing about menswear is that it's the people are just pretty like chilled out and they're fun and like they're not too like they make fun things. I'm beading. Hello, I'm Cecile and I'm in women's wear. Hello, I'm Paula and I'm in women's wear as well. I chose women's wear because it's a course that for challenging. Everyone is really independent and really ambitious, so we kind of push each other. We have two powerful leaders, so we have two different approaches to everything. I'm hoping once I, I hopefully graduate, I'm hoping to start my own brand. I'm hoping the CSM can kind of help me into re meeting right people, connecting with right people, um, and kind of knowing how to market myself as an individual and as a designer. I'd like to have a position in a big company and be tomorrow's fashion leader. Hey, I'm Jed Partridge. I studied the menswear pathway at St. Martin's. I'm now working as a creative assistant to Kim Jones across Dior and Fendi. Um, through St. Martin's, I was able to have an internship at Lanvin because they came here specifically to interview us. And that led me to Paris, which then led me to Dior. And now working with Kim. Hey, uh, so I'm Cameron Dukes. I'm studying women's wear at Central St. Martin's. Um, I recently got uh, awarded the MAC Scholarship uh, Cosmetics Award. Um, I mean, to be honest, before I came here, I came from really humble beginnings. 
Um, so the scholarship enabled me to be able to buy fabrics and basically continue on my studies here. So it's saved my life really, I must say. To make my application stand out, um, I think it's having a personal identity in your work. But I think also, after speaking to my tutors, I think it's showing ethos that you're willing to work hard. I think that having the potential to do well, um, you might not have the best work, but if you've got that character, that means you can thrive in difficult times because the course does get really difficult. I think showing that through your work, so having samples, having a lot of work, and showing that you care, and definitely the presentation of a board, like showing professionalism um, is key, in my opinion.